All right, I'm going to go over at least the first one for you guys so we can uh, at least get this out of the way, and then we'll go through uh, uh, the next set of problems, or the next problem. So at least on the first one, this one gives us an expression here. And we have 3x plus 4 is equal to a negative 5. And then it says, what is the value of x squared minus 4x? All right, so they're asking what the value is. So to evaluate for the value, we need to know the value of x. So they give us an equation which we can find the value of x, right? We just need to find what is the value of x. What is the value of x? That's what we need to figure out. Then we can plug that in and find the value of the expression. So to do that, first thing we need to do is subtract 4, right? So we need to solve for x. So we need to isolate the x. So we need to undo what's happening to it. So the first thing we always do is undo addition and subtraction to our variable. Then I have 3x is equal to a negative 9. Divide by 3, divide by 3 x is equal to a negative 3. All right. So now we know the value of x. That's not what it's asking, though. It's saying, what is the value of this expression? So now we need to take negative 3 and plug it into the expression. But please, ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing this, please, please, please make sure you use parentheses. Negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3. All right. Parentheses are very, very important, because if you do not use parentheses, mathematically, it is wrong, or even if you just wrote like this, times negative 3. The reason why is the order of operations. The order of operations say always to do parentheses inside parentheses first, then our exponents or our powers first, next, right? So if you wrote it like this, that is technically 3 squared times negative 1, right? So if you type that in your calculator like that, you're going to get it wrong. It's going to give you negative 9, all right? So we have to make sure we insert parentheses, because this says negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. Then we have negative 4 times negative 3, which is positive 12. So your final answer is 21. I think what you did wrong is you put in a 3 instead of a negative 3, Michael. 